Peter here at Renegade Products. We got this uh, diamond plate toolbox to work on. We're gonna use the mag and wire. We're gonna clean it up real quick and then we're gonna cut a section of it and then we're going to orbital polish over what we cut. So first we're gonna spray on our mag and wire, starting at the bottom, work your way up. <laughs> Take our terry cloth towel. <laughs> Scrub it in. Glass cleaner, neutralize our reaction. And now we've got a nice clean surface to start polishing. All right, so we've got the acid washing with the mag and wire and the neutralizing with the Kiss My Glass done. So we got a nice clean surface. Now I'm gonna use the Q69 bar on a yellow buff and I'm gonna do a diagonal pattern with my buffer going this way to get around these diamonds. Then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna come across but at the opposite uh, angle to get around the opposite diamonds. So now my first cut is done. So now I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna do my secondary cut. One of the things I like about the Q69 bars and even the Q36 bar is it's got a higher grease content than the T121 or the T88. So especially on diamond plate, that makes a big difference because most of your triple E bars, you run out of your compound when you're say on two or three lines. Whereas with these bars, you could see I went twice as far just because the grease content is higher so the compound lasts longer so that's been a big advantage so now i'm going to come back and i'm going to go the opposite direction or hold the machine the opposite direction and i'm going to just go all the way across but still going up So I've got two cuts done now. Here's where some guys will switch out to say a G16 or a lighter green compound and color it up. Not me. I'm actually going to take an orbital polisher and a foam pad to this with the Pro Red and I'm going to orbital polish this whole area to kind of clean up around all these diamonds. It's going to leave a nice finish. All right. So now I've got my Pro Red. I'm going to put it on the foam pad and I'm going to orbital polish this whole section right here to clean it up. This is going to allow for agitation on all sides of the diamonds. My orbital polishing is done, so now it's the easy part. We're just gonna wipe it off. And now we have a nice, clean, shiny finish on our diamond plate. I did a, I did a two step cut with the yellow buff and the Q69, and I came back over with the Pro Red, wiped it down. 
nice three-step section right here. Over here, we're gonna just do two-stage orbital polishing. We're gonna use the Ultra Cut first, and then we're gonna come back over it with the Pro Red. Got my ultra cut done. Wipe it down real quick. Now I'm coming back over with a lighter foam pad, more of a finishing pad and the Pro Red. We're gonna do this whole section over again, really gonna brighten it up. Final wipe down. Much the same way when you're doing a traditional polishing. With foam pads, you wanna make sure for your cut or your ultra cut, you're gonna use more of a, a firm foam pad to really help dig into the metal, give you that cut. And then when you go to your Pro Red, you wanna use like a medium foam pad or a softer foam pad to give you your final finish. This is a great way to get a near mirror finish if you don't have the tools or the skill set to use compound bars and traditional buffs.